What's going on guys, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com and in this video, I'm gonna go over my DraftKings Olympic golf sleeper picks. Make sure you click on that gear icon underneath the Sports Geek below the YouTube video to get notifications when I post new DraftKings and sports betting videos. All right, so on DraftKings this week, we've got two different slates. We've got the PGA John Deere Classic Tournament. Uh, there's not too many great contests running on DraftKings for that. So we're going to be focusing on the Olympic Tournament. It's the first time golf is back at the Olympics since early 1900s. And this week, they're going to be playing on the Olympic course. It's a 7,128 yard par 71. And this is a new course built for the Olympics. So we don't have any course history to look at. But if you want to compare it to something, it's kind of like the Lynx tournaments. So maybe look, take a look at the Open Championship results. Um, we've got four par fives and two short par fours on this course. So it's going to favor the long hitters. We're going to be looking at strokes gain, tee to green and putting, driving distance, par five scoring, birdie or better percentage and recent form. My first Olympic golf sleeper pick is going to be Jonathan Vegas. He's 8,300 at DraftKings this week. Uh, he won the RBC Canadian Open two tournaments ago and his recent finishes have been 44th, 53rd, 4th, 1st and 22nd at the PGA Championship. So he comes into this tournament in great form. Uh, he ranks 52nd in strokes gain tee to green, 16th in par 5 scoring, 45th in birdie or better percentage and 12th in driving distance. So he hits the ball far, he scores on par 5s, uh, he's a good birdie or better percentage player. So I think he's a great DraftKings option this week at just 8300. I think he might be a little more popular at DraftKings than uh, what would be considered a sleeper pick. But I really like him this week and thought I would include him in the video. My next pick is going to be Thomas Peters at 8100. This is a European Tour golfer. He ranks 64th in the world. His recent finishes have been 27th, 16th, 29th, 30th at the Open Championship, and 86th at the PGA Championship where he made the cut and then didn't have a great weekend. Uh, the Euro Tour ranks have him 5th in scrambling, 19th in driving distance, and 27th in overall scoring average. So at 8100, I think he's a good value at DraftKings. Uh, as you can see there, he finished 30th at the Open Championship, so this course might play similar to that. And uh, he's good around the greens, which might help this week. Uh, good driving distance and a uh, pretty good Euro Tour player. So 8,100, I don't think too many people will have him on their rosters, and I think uh, he's a good play this week. And my third pick here is Podrick Harrington at 7,700. He finished 64th last week. Could have been much better, but he shot a 75 on Sunday. But overall, he's in good form right now. His recent finishes have been 30th, 21st, 36th, 13th, and then 64th. Uh, he ranks 97th in driving distance, 78th in strokes gain tee to green, 100th in birdie or better percentage on the PGA Tour. And those stats aren't anything great, but he is above average in all of those for the PGA Tour. And in this field in the Olympics, I think he'll do pretty well. Uh, he's in good form right now, and I think 7,700 is a steal for Harrington. And then last up, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. We got Fabrizio Zanotti at 6,800. He plays on the European Tour. I don't know too much about him, but he is ranked 153rd in the world. Uh, which isn't great, but it's not too bad. There is a lot of guys, a lot of guys lower than him this week. Um, his recent finishes on the European Tour have been 7th, 74th, 16th, 33rd, and 34th. Uh, he's not a long hitter at all, but he is very accurate. He's third on the European Tour in driving accuracy, and he's hitting almost 70% of greens and regulation. So I don't think this will be a guy that will get you a lot of eagles this week or anything like that, but I think he could do well scoring, uh, getting his birdies when he can get them, and just having an overall solid finish to the tournament. At 6,800, uh, I think he'll be a good sleeper pick this week. All right, guys, so those are my four Olympic golf sleeper picks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button here on YouTube. Uh, it'll help support the channel, and just let me know that you guys like these videos and want more of them. As always, guys, good luck with your contest. Hope you make some money. Cheers.